Hello, so this is your daily collective reading. This will be for January the 29th, 2020. For those of you that are interested in watching the um, Zodiac readings, the air, earth, fire, and water readings, I'll put the link to each of those in the description so it can be easier for you guys to find. Let's see what messages we have. What messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? This is for January the 29th, 2020. What messages do we have for the collective? January the 29th, 2020. What guidance do we have for the collective? January the 29th. I'll also put the Instagram reading under there. Let me pull two more. What guidance do we have for the collective? January the 29th. That one there. Give me one more. Messages for the collective. January the 29th. 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? January the 29th. 2000. All right. All these came out. So we got four more. Let's read them. <laughs> so the first one we pulled is Angel Pleasure. It says, Take pleasure in the things you do. We also have Goddess of Strength. It says, Stand up for what you believe and you will gain respect by holding your ground. Okay. We pulled the Goddess of Justice. It says, What, you, what seems an injustice is actually a blessing. Okay. We have the angel of joyfulness. Something wondrous and magical is about to happen. The angel of the universe. It says you are being encouraged to expand your thinking. Angel of finances. It says honor and give thanks for the blessings you are about to receive. All right. So let's see what message we have. Oh, the underlying message for all for all of the collective, for everyone, is angel of prayer. It says ask the universe and angels for help and guidance. All right. So let's see what messages we have. What messages, what guidance do we have? This is for January the 29th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? January the 29th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? This is for January the 29th, 2020. Messages, guidance for the collective. January the 29th, 2020. All right. So we have the five of wands. So I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be dealing with some obstacles, some challenges you're needing to overcome. The five of wands talks about conflict, mostly conflict from other people. So some of you guys could be dealing with someone that's bringing conflict within your life. You could be dealing with a situation that you need to overcome, a challenge within your life. You could also be dealing with some, um, how you say, um, bothersome details. All right. So. Five of Pentacles here. This could have to do with your finances. Some of you guys could have an obstacle dealing with finances here. You could be dealing with a codependent or a negative situation that is creating problems and there's a need to change your foundation. So I'm going to put it to you like this because I said this in the fire sign reading, I believe. If you are in a connection that is not in the best vibration, um, that could be material based, love space, it does not matter. If you're wanting to manifest some blessings into your life, you are not going to receive those blessings if you're in a situation to where the person you're dealing with does not is not supposed to receive them with you. Not saying that person isn't supposed to receive blessings, but you guys may not be meant to receive those blessings together. So if you want to make a change in your life and you're dealing with a negative type of situation, a lust based situation, Situation, a material based situation or even just a toxic codependent situation you're needing to remove yourself from that in order for you to receive the blessings you have to change the foundation in order to build something stronger so let's see here we have um that's the triumph this is the cancerian energy here for some of you guys you're needing to find your motivation to move away from something that is is negative some of you guys are dealing you need to turn away the key to whatever this toxic situation is. So some of you guys, you're dealing with someone that is toxic. This could be internal, like in your own energy. It could be you, or you could be dealing with someone in your external energy that is toxic and you're needing to turn away from that or from that person or the situation. All right. So with the, yeah, we got all these fucking fives. Changes are necessary. There's a change that is necessary. You're not going to receive any blessings if you say, and that's, that's, that's a message that I've had through all of my readings, needing to move away. Well, I'm going to say from the air and the 
water sign reading and the fire sign reading and all of the fucking readings all of the readings someone needs to make changes in their life in order to receive what is necessary all right so with the destiny here the will of fortune y'all hungry for something new but you're in a space of dealing with the basic necessities we had this yesterday that was a message yesterday and y'all some of y'all didn't listen the message yesterday was do you want abundance or do you want to have the bare minimum some of you guys chose the bare minimum now you're dealing with the after effects of choosing to stay in a situation that meets your bare necessities you're dealing with conflict within your passions you're dealing with conflicts within your thoughts and you're dealing with conflicts within your foundation all of that needs to change in order for you to move toward your destiny some of you guys have a fear of really moving forward you need to find your motivation another five even though this is throat chakra another five here someone needs needs to speak into existence what they desire and actively move toward that okay you also need some of you guys need to speak your truth you're trying to have patience with the situation but it's time to bring balance to your mentality and to your emotions so that you can really allow yourself to blossom six of swords i'm trying to tell you it's time to move on some of y'all it's time to move on Some of y'all need to move on. You need to move on. There's a new beginning that is happening here. And some of you guys know, some of you guys are aware that changes are necessary. So you're facing your fears, finding your motivation to move forward, but you feel conflicted. You feel defeated. Some of you guys feel like you're losing, but you're not losing anything but the bare motherfucking minimum. You're losing the bare minimum to gain the fucking world. Y'all don't make me start preaching up in here. Emperor here, it's time to take control. You are the authority figure in your motherfucking life. Choose to take control, okay? So let's see here. We have the five of pentacles here. I do feel like there is some financial or some material changes. Why is this five of pentacles here? We have the ace of pentacles in reverse. So some of you guys, you're in a space of, I feel like you're turning down a new life here. Two of cups here with the four of pentacles because you're holding on to, yeah. Some of you guys are holding on to a relationship. You're holding on to a partnership. You're holding on to a situation that is lacking, that is negative in nature, that is toxic in nature. Some of you guys are needing to find the key to your own desires, to your own heart. You're very much in the space of turning down this new life for yourself. Devil here, out of fear. So some of you guys here, you're dealing, this is a situation that you've been committed to in the past devil here with the queen of swords you're needing to see the truth here chariot here some of you guys are really needing to see the truth here you're needing to see the truth about needing to find your motivation to move forward again changes are necessary they're required in order for you to move forward in your life some of you guys have potential new opportunities here that you're needing to move into but you're very much in a space of living or acting out of fear out of a low vibration of self put these down here so we have can't the triumph here this is a spiritual choice that has to happen and some of you guys are very much in a space of not making that choice you're not even you're delaying your own you're delaying your own movement page of swords here with the hermit some of you guys are very much in the space of being within your shell her uh hangman here needing to change your perspective five swords here some of you guys are making an unwise choice here you're making an unwise choice staying in a situation that's going to create obstacles and challenges within your life conflict and defeat here five of swords you got all these fives five 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 you got three fives in your reading right here four fives in your reading right here but three actual fives the throat chakra is just the fifth chakra but it's still a five major changes are about to happen it's destiny y'all some of you guys you're very much in the space of having imbalanced responsibilities within this situation ace of cups here i feel like you're needing to put things in motion to move forward but you're confused as to how to do that you could also be dealing again with a lot of worry that's creating confusion some of you guys i'm gonna be real with you you need to clear your energy i feel like for some of you guys you could have someone that is clouding your vision creating conflict in your life and you're not seeing it because you're in a space of looking from a low vibration you're needing to raise your vibration most definitely this is not this is not the best read this is not the best read so and i'm you know i'm gonna call it like i said i'm not gonna i'm not gonna read i'm not gonna make a reading good for brownie points i'm gonna read what i see because you need to hear it 
Some of you guys have a lot of obstacles in your life, a lot of challenges in your life, a lot of problems in your life because you're staying in a low vibration, not taking control of your life, not taking ownership of the positions that you're in. The air sign we need is suffering in silence. So some of you guys are choosing to suffer in silence. You have a desire to move forward, but because you have fear, and some of you guys, I feel like some of you guys are in the space of even playing games because you don't want to lose what you feel is something that you own, but what you own or what you have is the bare minimum. You need to really, you need to start back at the basics. You need to cut away all the bullshit and start from basics here. There are changes that need to happen. So we have destiny here, which is a change. That's a big change. It's destiny. It's fate. Why is the destiny card here? Why is destiny here? Four of cups here. So some of you guys, I do feel like that you have mental clarity. You're very much in the space of not being happy. Um, I feel like you're unhappy because Ace of Pentacles, you have potential new opportunity. You see the bigger picture here. You're needing to take action, but Magician talks about lacking the confidence to put things in motion. Even though you have a desire with lust here, you have a strong desire. You're needing to follow what you feel within yourself. Some of you guys, you're afraid to follow what you feel within yourself because your mind is so clouded with the problems that you're having. The reason that you're having the problems is because you're allowing yourself to be stuck in a low vibration or a toxic situation. Toxic environment, toxic friends, toxic relationships, toxic, toxic, I can't say toxicity. I said it, toxicity. Toxicity everywhere. I guess I couldn't say it while I was in motion of saying other shit. But I feel like the destiny here or the fate here is for you to move away from the situation, to start over. Some of you guys, and I know that's a scary thing, but some of you guys, you need to cut away that foundation altogether. Like, tear the whole motherfucking house down and start over. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? It's too many problems. Base chakra here. Why is this base chakra here? Why is this base chakra here? Why is this base chakra here? Eight of cups in reverse with the four of swords. Some of you guys are not in alignment with moving forward here. You're not because you're acting off impulse here. Knight of swords here. You're really in a space. Someone's angry here. I feel like someone is in a space of either having angry, needing to release the impulses, needing to release the anxiety so that they can be in alignment with growing. Some of you guys are afraid to grow. You're afraid to step into your next ascension because you're afraid of what you're going to lose. What you're going to lose is a necessity because you're going to gain so much more. You know what you're doing. So you have to make the decision to be in alignment with moving forward towards your own happiness. If you choose not to move towards your happiness, then you're choosing to stay in lack. Why is this throat chakra here? Some of you guys, this could be as simple as speaking the truth about a situation. Six of Swords. Some of you guys need to speak the truth in order for you to be balanced within your thoughts to move forward. Speak what you feel. Page of Cups here. Nine of Wands. Some of you guys, this is about finding your strength to sever the connection. Some of you guys need to tell the truth. That's the change that's necessary. You're dealing with all this lax shit because you're not speaking your truth. Some of you guys, I definitely saw in some of the readings, someone's playing games. And the games is that you're playing the waiting game. You're in a space of waiting for something to happen before you speak your truth but you're not in a very good vibration doing that because you're allowing yourself to be stuck in a situation that is toxic that is not beneficial to you for you to gain what what is the prize besides suffering in silence there's there's no prize in that so i feel like for a lot of you guys you're needing to bring balance to your own life be the alchemist in your life create something new for yourself by speaking your truth and making the moves that are necessary to move away from conflicts Temperance here. Why is temperance here? I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be in a space of worry that something won't grow, that something won't blossom if you let go of a situation. It's going to grow. It's going to blossom. You're causing interference within Ace of Wands, this new life for yourself, by really not speaking your truth, by not being honest, by not being true. Queen of Swords. Some of you guys, you're having to be clear about something and you're not. I feel like there's a lot of lying that is happening. And I saw that in the Earth Sign reading. So... I feel like for earth signs, because I got following your destiny, but I also saw lies initially. So someone is lying. Someone is very much in the space of not being honest about some things. Um, and it could be out of jealousy, especially if you're in the space of moving forward, but whoever you're dealing with is not. They may not want you to move forward because they feel like you're going to leave them behind. And you may need to because it may be a toxic situation that creates more obstacles in your life than, you know, blessings. Why is this moving on here? 
So I'm trying to tell you, some of you guys are resisting moving toward happiness. Seven of Swords here, I mean, Seven of Wands, Nine of Cups with the Eight of Wands. Some of you guys are very much in the space of moving of resisting moving forward here, but you need to move forward. You need to stand up for what you believe is right. Allow your concerns to fade away. Communicate what needs to be communicated so that you can move toward your new life. For a lot of you guys, there may be some responsibilities here that you may feel are keeping you interfered. The responsibilities aren't keeping you interfered. You're keeping yourself interfered. You're allowing yourself to be in the situation of lack. Remove the lack so that you can have abundance. Why is this new beginning here? New beginning as the outcome, beautiful outcome. But in order to have that, you need to change your perspective. Will of fortune, you need to allow yourself to change. You need to allow yourself to move forward. Hermit here, Ace of Cups, you've been thinking about moving toward a new opportunity for yourself. Hierophant in here. Hmm. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're very much, you know what's going to bring you happiness. Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is just about trusting what you feel within yourself, seeing the value of you being happy. Some of you guys don't see the value of being happy because you're dealing with too many obstacles that are creating this illusion of being without. So what? Let go of all the material shit and choose to be happy. Choose to have peace. Having peace and joy in your life is an active choice. Some of you guys need to actively take action within your life so that you can gain the happiness that you desire some of y'all are in the space of playing the waiting game waiting for something to happen before you choose to be happy you're going to miss an opportunity in your life let's see what god is we have we're going to use the past life oracle this is the oracle cards we're using for this week this is the oracle cards i couldn't get all the words out <laughs> what messages do we have for the collective Imprisonment or slavery. Some of you guys are imprisoning yourself. You know that you're dealing with a war right now with someone. You're imprisoning yourself into it. What messages, what guidance do we have moving forward for the collective? Vows. Some of you guys made a vow and you're allowing that vow to keep you stuck. Listen. You made a vow in a time when you were not the person you are right now. You have more knowledge, mental clarity, and you see the truth of the situation. Some of you guys, you're following the beliefs that you were given in regards to the situation. You need to move away from it. What messages, what guidance do we have? We have spirituality and religion. Mm -hmm. With spouse, some of you guys here, oh, I feel like for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a medicine man or woman um i don't know if it's a good thing for some of you guys it may be a good thing you could be dealing with someone that's spiritual there may be some vows that have been made or need to be made um in order for you to heal some of you guys this has to do with the father figure i feel like you have blessings or lessons that you need to learn but you need to have trait you need to have trust and faith Ooh, atlantis here okay so i feel like for a lot of you guys and i'm gonna be real with you on a positive note, I do feel like you're moving into a new spiritual type of uh, ascension here. There are some vows that you may have made into a past life to a spouse. I don't know if this is, I don't, I'll be honest with you. I don't feel like this is the spouse that you're dealing with because you have to learn a lesson first in order to gain a, a blessing. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's some healing that needs to be done with a father figure, either within your own like dealing with your own father, or if you're the father figure, you're needing to heal in order for you to follow those vows that you made. This is all I have. Until next time, y'all.